you to know that I love Susie Blundiful. Susie Blundiful is performed by Susan McGraw. She created it. She did the whole thing. It's a great bit, and I love it. But as you will see, as Susie Blundiful reports to us, there is a dump in East Hampton who can furnish your home for no money down. We've brought you to um, an area that we th hold very near and dear to us in East Hampton. It's the East Hampton disposal area. And uh, everyone seems to be very busy at work, but they have something brand new here that all of you will be very interested in. Today's topic is how to decorate your house with absolutely no money down. One of the major items that we found today at the dump is um, a sofa. And Dave, if you'll come with me, we can show our viewers the beautiful sofa. We're not sure of the make. But it could be a Castro convertible. It could be from Lifestyles. Now, for all those people who are coming to the Hamptons and are moving in for Memorial Day weekend, we think this is a great place to start looking for things. Okay, let's let's look at this sofa. Um, first of all, it's pale yellow, and it's very soft, Dave. It's nice and comfortable. It, it actually comes in two big pieces. So if you are inviting a lot of weekend guests, you'll be... Um, You'll be nice and comfortable all weekend long. And I wouldn't worry about getting it dirty if you have dogs or cats or kids because it's already filthy. Um, there are some shoes here, which uh, a pair of shoes for a man and lady. And uh, with all the hot spots to go to out here, you want to look fashionable. And these are barely even worn. I'll tell you, Dave, I, I might, you know, take these with me. What do you think? What do you think, Dave? It would be a big addition to your wardrobe, Susie. Yeah, well, you know, I've been wearing these sneakers. Maybe I should just leave these here and take these with me. You know, I bought these at Caldor's for $4, but uh, on my salary working for this network, you know, it's all I could afford. But hey, look, a pocketbook for women who have a lot of shopping to do in the Hamptons. This was donated by somebody. Now, what's so great about the salvage area is that, hold on one second. What's your name? John Cawley. And where did you get this table? Nathan's. Nathan's in New York? No, Oceanside. Oh, but that's a hot dog place, right? Yeah. Now, if I take this home, will you supply hot dogs to go with it? No, you owe me $599 if you take that home. Oh, well, then I'll wait till you leave, because <laughs> when you brought it here. Now, let's sit down. Here, sit down. Sit down. Who, what's your name? John. John, what? come down and sit down. Now, have you used this table at your house? Come on over here. Sure, it used to be in our living room. Uh, I beg your pardon? It used to be in our living room. It did. Yeah. And and are you getting a new table? Are you renting out your house for the summer? Oh no, no, no. We live there permanently now. Oh well, I thought maybe you were putting in new furniture for the summer people. No. No. Is that a new T-shirt you're wearing? Sure is. Well, can we? Let's take a look at this, Dave. Right from San Diego, California. Every... That, that's a good T-shirt. I think you should leave that here and take the table back. No. Nah. My wife. This is my wife's T-shirt. Uh, You'd have to. You'd have unisex to dressing. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to get it from her if you want it. Okay. You, do, so you brought this table all the way from from where? Oceanside. And you brought just because you heard that this was the place to bring oh, old yeah, stuff. Yeah, this was the place. This was the hottest spot in town. Did you think you'd get coverage because you heard the Hamptons were so chic that if you brought your furniture here, it would definitely be picked up and somebody famous would take it? Oh, absolutely, yes. Well, who who are you hoping might pick this up? Oh, Paul Simon, Billy Joel. Paul Simon, Billy Joel, you know, uh, any famous artist. Yeah, Billy Joel this is a collector's item. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we just saw him, but we couldn't interview him because he, he didn't want us to know. He doesn't want anybody to know that he comes here. Um, he's been buying Christie some of her clothing here, and, <laughs> you know, it's, he doesn't want anyone to know this is the hot spot to be, but we found out about it. So, uh, well, we, I think this is really nice, Dave. I think it would look good in your, in your place. You know, nice seats, heart shape. If you go out on a date, you don't go out too often on dates, but, you know, sort of suggestive of a little romance, maybe candlelight dinner. What do you say? I don't know. Then I have to buy all new furniture to upgrade to this standard, Susie. <laughs> well, okay. Well, you enjoy the summer. Okay. All well, right. And you well, can watch okay. this tonight on Channel 27. We're going to be on with, uh, you know, what's happening in the Hamptons. Okay? All right. Oh, before you leave, you were you came. I'd like to interview these two beautiful women, 
at the dump. Now, this is a place to meet women, Dave. What's, what's your name? Andrea Carley. This is my mother. Rose Carley. <laughs> now, do you shop here often? Very often. And probably what you're wearing, you got here, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't shop anyplace else. You can't beat these bargains. I tell you, what's that commercial Sims does? That um, our educate. What is it, Dave? Educated, educated buyers. Yes, until the the price is the very lowest price, and I waited until this was absolutely free, and then I picked it up here. And it's so clean. I mean, you must have gotten it right away. I think somebody had it clean before they brought it here. I think I think this is really good looking. I Check the shoes. yeah, look at those. I mean, oh, the, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Brand new. Yeah. No, now your daughter. Let's see your outfit. This this looks great. Except um, somebody spilled some paint on it, but it's okay. Hey, it's okay. And straight from San Diego. <laughs> oh, you know him? Yeah, husband. Oh, he's your husband. Well, come over here, husband. Come over here. Okay. So this is your T-shirt. Yes, this is from when I was pregnant. This was with unisex. You said we use it, you know, pregnancy, and now. Now it's for him. And now it's for this him. This is a golf shirt. I see, I him. see. Okay, well, what do you say? You know, I could really use that shirt because I'm pregnant now. Oh. You know, I could use that T-shirt. I think you really should leave it here. I, you know, look, you're here. You might as well give something away. I can't use that. It's too big for me to take home in my Volkswagen. But we could, we could tie it on top of your Volkswagen for you, and you could take it home, put it in your living room. It would look absolutely good. Well, the problem is I'm waiting for the Volkswagen to be delivered to, here to the salvage area. Somebody told me they were going to drop it off today, but um, until it comes, I hate to keep you waiting. Well, they close at 5, so you're not going to have too much more time. Uh, well, I guess Go we better get on with the story. Right? Okay, yeah. well, it was nice, nice to meet meeting you. too. Okay. Have you fun look great. shopping. We'll All right. Move we'll on to the gourmet section. The gourmet section. <laughs> the food section. Yes, okay. Well, Dave, should we look at some other items for instance? This terrific um, thing to put your, your beers in, or if you can't drink beers and you're on a water diet, I used to have one of these. This, this is great also as a planter. You can put your plants in here. You can put your pennies in here. Um, if you need to bring your fish along, you can just open up the top, fill it with water, and stick your fish in so they you know don't leave home without them. And what other things can you do with this, Dave? Uh, you can always soak your head, Susie. Thanks, Dave. Okay, you know, we get such wonderful things to report on. I am really excited, though, about... Um, come right over here, please. About exercise. And I know that you just signed up today, Dave, for, for um, at the fitness center, didn't you, right? Yeah, they, they told me if I work out every day by the year 2000, I might be able to get in shape. Well, another 200 pounds to go, Dave, and uh, then you'll only have 300 pounds left. Okay, what we have for you, Dave, and for anybody who's really interested, Dave, you want to just follow me around over here? Come on, Dave. You, you know, I thought when you went to school, because you are leaving ah! to go to New York. Ah! Oh! Dave, you're ruining the show again. Come on. Look, this is... This is something I want you to have before you go to New York, okay? This is an exercise bicycle, and, and I wanted to surprise you before, before you left, but I want to give this to you. It's, it's great. It works. It's a little hard now as I've gotten a little bigger, but, you know, what do you say, Dave? Do you think I could, I could get back into shape? Could you get back into shape with this? So the only thing you do is get rust stains from that thing. Rust stains. Well, I say it works, and I think somebody even put uh, an, uh, new springs on it. Now, if you like to really go someplace, here's a body to a bike. There's a dog kennel here, a house for your dog. And look at this, Reader's Digest, a whole set of... So those, those of you who are literate or who love to read, you can come here to the salvage area at the East Hampton Dump and look, the Cane Mutiny. This is worth taking. Let's let's take some of these, Dave, and learn something. I mean, Mrs. Paris goes to Texas. There's a whole a whole slew of things here. Oh, this is great. Dave, complete for my new baby. Baby toys. The mic's out, Dave. <laughs> Dave, did you turn off the mic when I was talking? No, we still got Should we go back here. and and reiterate what? Well, no. Okay, somebody has some very uh, unhappy memories about high school or their college, but they left their their um, book here. Let's see. Oh, 
St. Lawrence University. Well, uh, it looks like it's 1960s, and if somebody wants to um, assume another identity, I guess they could come here and just put these on their shelf, and and they would be part of St. Lawrence University. I don't know. I don't. If anyone's looking for this, it's the year 1972. Hey, that's the year I graduated from sixth grade. So if you're looking for it, it's here. Maybe the mother or father threw it out. I don't know. Okay. Summertime sports, Dave. You don't have to go and buy these at Seasonings. You can get them right here. They're, they're practically completely new, a little worn on the sides, but hey, you know, flippers for your kids to go swimming in. All right, what else? Plant potters are here, baby toys, as we mentioned. Beach chairs, I love to sun. And this, this is great because if you have a lot of guests who come to your house and uh, like to sun, here are a couple of extra chairs for absolutely free. What do you say, Dave? This is kind of nice. In fact, I think it's nice just to sit here and watch the people. This is a great place to meet people. Do you, do you think so? Yeah, I don't get much of a tan under the tent, though. Well, I don't think that's really important. It's just I like to meet people, so I'm not interested in tanning, Dave. I mean, you know, not completely vain. Yeah, it starts looking like you're living here. Well, well, that's okay. That would be a good place. It's summertime. You just bought two tents, Dave. What are you going to do? This is a big tent. Put up a little plastic, you know, it might be nice. Well, let, let's see. Shall we talk to some other people and see if they, they have found anything really important here? Sir, what's your name? The name is Coward, James Coward. Well, how do you do? We're, um, we're, we're uh, on Channel 27, and we came to the salvage department today to see if... Um, what's here, and I want to know if you've ever been here before. And... I've never been here before, but I, of course I come to the dump quite often. I have an awful lot of leaves to dispose of. Uh huh. Have you ever found? You've never been here, so you've no, never found no, anything. No, I've never been here. Just today, I asked today, what was it for? And I was told that it's a place that things were left, the souvenirs, whatever. Are you going to bring anything here yourself, do you think? Yes, sir. Whatever I have at home to get rid of. <laughs> Hopefully somebody else can use it. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, did we... Did you just find that faucet piece here? Yes, I did. I just... Oh, uh, yeah, let's see this. Let's see. The faucet seems to be rather good. Very now, useful. see that? Yeah, there's and nothing wrong with that. Certainly nothing wrong with it. I mean, a normal person who has a, a sink or something, they could certainly use it. I mean, it's a very good one, too. Well, if you're watching, whoever brought this to, to the salvage department, we thank you for this. No, it was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have a good time with it, and I hope it works. Okay, have a nice weekend. All right. Okay, Dave, I think we should just look at this one, one other, two, last two items here. Come on, Dave. Wait, we're getting all tangled up here. Now, I hate to do dishes, and you know, on, during Christmas time, I got this, this um, set of, like, Joy liquid detergent. But this is the thing I have been waiting for, Dave. Look at it. It's white. It will work with any color kitchen. It's a dishwasher, Dave. Look. Complete. Compl <laughs> com <laughs> completely. I think it killed it, Susie. Wait, there we go. Okay, it's even got a spoon in it, a spoon. So, you know, it comes with a little extra something. Um, it does, it, it's not brand new, but hey, you know, for free. Let's see. Uh, I don't think you could use it in your tent, Dave, so I'm not gonna recommend that you take it. But it's a pretty good brand, I think. It's, uh, it's got no name on it, which means, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about Ever getting it fixed if it breaks down or something? Okay, um, let's let's kind of move along here because this is the best deal of all. I, when we pulled up, I saw this sitting here, and uh, you know the Germans are supposed to make things that last forever, but I guess in this case, it's it's uh, got some problems. Otherwise, nobody would leave it here. It looks to me to be a, a Mercedes Benz, and uh, maybe maybe. Uh, the keys are in it. What do you think, Dave? Well, I don't know. I think you ought to check it out for rust first, Susie. You know, these things go so fast out here. 
Well, do you think we should tr um, see if we can get it started and take it for a ride? Sure, I sure. People are giving away these German cars left and right these days. So it may, not be, it may be more trouble than it's worth, but sh why don't you check it out, you know? Okay, well, you want to get in it now? Should we, should we try it out? Okay. Okay, well, we're going to go on our next story then. We're going to go into town and show you what kinds of really hot new in-style foods are available on the grocery market shelves because the weekend's here and you want to be in style when your guests come out for the weekend and you want to know what to buy. So we're going to peruse the shelves of the A&P.